Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover some troubleshooting for Siemens G122 drive. So if your drive is behaving abnormal or there is some minor or major problem in it, you can just do factory reset for that drive and you can upload and download the program from the healthy drive. So these two points we are going to cover and what is the total procedure for that. Hindi version of this video is also available. I'll pin down the link in the description. So let's get started. This is the faulty drive which need to be fixed and first we'll do the factory reset. Right hand side its menu, we'll go to parameter and at the bottom there is drive factory reset. This option here you can see, we'll select, press the button and it will ask reset the drive, just press yes. In progress, please wait. So we have to wait around some 30-40 seconds and the drive status will be fault the orange indication you can see on the panel once the factory reset is done the actual you know the actual value of power that will come to the drive that we will check the default value so factory reset completed successfully and still the drive will show in faulty condition because we have to do the programming next and now we'll check the actual parameters that is available on the drive we'll go to the menu now parameters and since you know all the important parameters are in 300 series so we'll press 300 here and better to go directly to 305 to check the current so this is the rated motor current 477 amps and power this is sorry 307 is the motor rated power 250 kilowatt so this is the actual power of the drive that we will change as per the application and that's how the first process has been completed next we will go to the healthy panel and upload the program from drive to panel so we'll go to the menu upload download option is there second last and since we are uploading the program from drive to panel so second option upload drive to panel this is a separate panel guys this is not the previous panel this is a healthy drive and we are uploading the program we will use the first option and this is running it will take some time so guys why I'm repeating this point is that there are two different drives the first drive is the faulty drive that we have done the factory set this is the healthy drive another drive and it is having the perfect program the healthy program so we have uploaded the program from the drive to this panel and we'll take this panel to the faulty drive and download the program so it has been almost completed okay upload completed so next we'll take this panel and we'll connect to the faulty drive which we have done the factory reset and download the program same process we'll go to the menu upload download and now we have to download the program from panel to drive okay so this is the panel and it will upload all the programs all the parameters to the drive so this is the process continue we have to select and again it won't it will take some time Downloading procedure takes a little bit more time than upload and one thing you will observe like when the drive reaches 99% of the download there will be two sounds coming from power contactors on and off and drive will be still in faulty condition. So at this point 99% you will observe the sound and now the drive has been downloaded program has been downloaded successfully no, next we have to reboot the drive that is switch on and off and later on we'll go back to the menu to check whether actually the program have been downloaded or not so parameters we'll search by number that is the best way we'll directly go to 305 to check the current earlier it was after reboot after factory reset it was 250 sorry uh, the power was 250 and current was 477 now you can see the current is 67 so the panel the drive has been successfully you know factory reset has been done and later on we have successfully downloaded the program from the healthy drive that was of 67 amps 
So likewise, you can check all the other parameters. You can edit it. There is a separate video how to do all the things. What are the important changes you need to make like voltage, current, power and all such things. So this is how the panel will look and thank you so much for watching guys.